the examination of the shoulders. Watch the patient removing his shirt and note forward, backward and upward movements of the shoulders and whether these seem limited or to cause the patient pain. Stand back and compare the two sides. The arm should be held at the same level and the outlines of the acromioclavicular joints should be the same. There may be wasting of one of the deltoid muscles that will not be obvious unless the two are compared. Look at the joint itself. A large effusion may cause an anterior swelling. Look for asymmetry and for scars as a result of injury or previous surgery. Feel for tenderness and swelling. Stand beside the patient, rest one hand on the shoulder and move the arm into different positions. As the shoulder moves, feel the acromioclavicular joints. Move the joint. Abduction. For the right shoulder, the examiner stands behind the patient, resting the left hand on the patient's shoulder, while the right hand abducts the elbow from the shoulder. Elevation is tested actively. And you just move your arm straight up, all the way up. That's it. Adduction. The arm is carried forward across the front of the chest. Just have to move your arm across the front. Thank you. External rotation is possible to 60 degrees. Bend the patient's elbow to 90 degrees, then turn the arm move laterally arm as far as possible. Hold it there. Internal rotation is tested actively. Take you now to try to move your arm behind your back as, if, as though you were scratching. That's it. Patients with rotator cuff problems complain of pain when they perform this manoeuvre. Thank you. Flexion is tested actively. What I'd like you to do now is to move your arm straight out in front. Okay. Extension. The arm is swung backwards as in marching. Good. Thank you. During all these manoeuvres, limitation with or without pain and joint crepitus are assessed. Rapid assessment of shoulder movement is possible using the three-step Apley scratch test. What I'd like you to do is just imagine that you need to scratch your shoulder and what I'd like you to do is move your arm like that and scratch that position. Get the same position by going behind your neck now. Hold it there. Okay, and now by coming up from below. That's it. The anterior stability of the shoulder joint is best assessed by the apprehension test. Stand behind the patient abduct, extend and externally rotate the shoulder while pushing the head of the humerus forward with the thumb.